welcome to the Dark One Seventy Eight channel. It's me, your host, Dark One Seventy Eight, and we are back in Dark Alliance Two. Um, last we left off, we were going through this secret path to finish up the Red Tank first. But um, predictably, my computer went on storage these days, and. This is The base has been penetrated. This the is Lady Asagoria, the one with the red dress. Impossible. By whom? Adventurers, my lady, from Baldur's Gate. They somehow found the camp and assaulted it directly. Hmm. But you defeated them? N no, mistress. I was forced to flee. They, they followed me into the passage. They what? You! You! Worthless! <laughs> I should have had also, Lula as a goal, yeah, me another <laughs> brute like Argish to think of the expense of having you created That's in my image cost. only to see you fail me. Mistress, <laughs> please, yeah. I won't disappoint you again. No. And just you like won't. that, Azagoria ripped away our chance to kill the Red Queen ourselves. Ignore those two, because first home, we'll play through some of Wait, what did I do? An idiot, okay. Bunch of hobgoblins and dogs that would be fighting. As you can see, they're not terribly tough right about at this moment. Whoop!
gotta check this out. Push that false wall in There's more over here, there's not. Okay. That's just literally for experience purposes. Okay.
turquoise one is minus jumping puzzle that kills you about 40 times over.
it has crashed on me when transitioning over here. Welcome to Firewind Manor, adventurer. <laughs> You guys didn't see it, but I flipped her right off. <laughs> Lady Azagora. Agor... Ar... Gor... Aragazia. Firewind. The true power behind the Red Fang Rotters has dropped you into the dungeons beneath her manor. You must escape and confront her to complete your quest. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Afterward, rare spots. Oh, hey, I don't have a spawn here because I'm not monetized, so I don't get sponsors. Now, unfortunately, you can't stun. Huh. Undead, so, uh. Circle artwork. Usually they don't walk. Usually. Just as tough as they were in the first game. Which is very tough. The zombies are even worse. if they used to. Before. So, half plate blue. Yeah. She can quit half plate. Because once you're actually using tanks. Oh, 
Some of these traps work. the real fleshy and then will take damage from a slashing and piercing weapons. Sure has a lot of rats down here. I guess that's all the ones she caught in the cellar. Yeah, it doesn't give me switch. Alright, when well, you pull that switch, it turns the trap over here off. Twice as minutes, okay. He was a big fella. Oh yeah, there's a guy in the doorway. If you end up caring too much about him, at this point, just put out the game before we call it.
Okay, our current weight is still pretty good. Oh, and by the way, mm. you can't break these. Because of course. Why would it? So the exit is here, but we're not done here yet. Both of us got stuck on each other. I just kill as a ghoul, um, they can actually, they have a chance to stun you when they hit you. I forgot the name of the spell. To this ghost, we'll go sell some stuff. That's not important because we're not playing the board or don't ever play You have board gazed upon the crypts of House Feldane living, and for that, you must perish. Oh, then you guys read the. You guys can pause to read the. The manor of Feldane it was, before a great conflagration destroyed it. Firewind is the manse Aragazia built upon its ruins. Curse her soul. Because her audacity would reveal the shame of the Feldane. That these hideous ghouls are all that remain of the once glorious family. Yes, yeah, so the ghouls that we've been fighting are his family members. The skeletons are adventurers, grave robbers, whatever else is in the dungeons and catacombs. 
when they opposed her. Decades passed. My family fell into a corrupting spiral of hedonistic decadence and sadism. Over the years, their acts became so depraved that they devolved into incestuous, drug-crazed cannibals. Those who died rose again as flesh-eating ghouls. As a ghost, I could only silently witness the atrocity of it all. Fortuitously, a freak accident destroyed the manor and hid any evidence of the building's terrible secret. Until now, may the hells take that vile woman. But you, you can help me. You must destroy the manor again, and with it, the shame of House Feldane. Rest assured that I will make it worth your while. The Feldanes are not ones to shirk debts. We will meet again once you have succeeded living. At which time, you will know the gratitude of House Feldane. Farewell. And of course you could kill him, but it's not as fun. He gives you trinkets that will be very useful to you later on, depending on what you're playing. Speaking of which, was pretty good, but do I have any... Okay, I don't have any chances anything. Okay. Welcome back, friend. My shop carries the finest armor and weapons. It's the work of local master craftsmen as well as imports from Waterloo and Arm. He is down at this. Arms and armor? I have everything you need right here. Ooh. If you need weapons or armor to protect you from someone else, you come to the right place. I will. Rest assured that when you are ready to take your place at the head of the Uoswir household, you will not stand alone. Swager's so gold is used to secure a powerful ally for the house. Oh, I can pronounce that. One step plus Charles Van Gold, Major Kin, better focus on the task at hand, you gain 1600 experience points.
Alright, I'm gonna chuck her out there. You wanna go? Go! As you can see, there's something with it because when Azagora Paragazia uh, took this place, she um, raided most of the treasure.
so down here is where you progress further.
Just inside the chamber ahead, you'll hear two talk two people talking. You can slip into the nearby alcove and use a drop or you can barge in and try to them. We are going to eavesdrop. That is grave news, Lady Aragazia. But no matter. The four foundations are nigh within the grasp of my patrons. When the tower is theirs, the reward for your aid will make what your brigands brought you seem a paltry sum. I should hope so, Khan. These schemes have grown even more tiresome than looting forgotten tombs and stealing other dragon hordes had become. Fear not. The Zentarum leave no debt unpaid. That is why I work for them after all. Now about this meddler, or... Don't you look afraid about as a How many of these adventurers have you caught? Do 
not concern yourself. They are mine to deal with. Nothing will escape those dungeons. Especially not after I bring this manor burning down atop them. You intend to destroy your home? Home? Ha! Ah, I grow weary of this tiny structure. No. With the red fang scattered and the hands of glory's work done, I will retire to my lair. Your masters will know how to find me, should they require my services again. Farewell, Khan. Farewell, my lady. You there. Come here. What? Did you think I could not sense your foul presence? We're gonna need spread because holy Does shit. Does your chest swell with pride, adventurer? Imagining that you've accomplished something of import? Oh, but you're too late. I am finished with this place. Even my treasure has been moved. Nothing awaits you here but death. You are but an insect, mindlessly scuttling across the last page of a book before it is crushed by the closing of the cover. <laughs> Foolish little creature. Before I turn this hovel into your funeral pyre, I shall bless you with a glimpse of greatness. Tesagoria. Gaze trembling upon my true form, worm, and but cower the before the might of Isagora, the Red Death. This is like the best twist of ever. And the hardest Burn. boss in the game. You flee the burning grand ballroom as Ezagoria crashes through the roof. You must escape Highland Mana before the Inferno consumes you. Yeah. That grand ring of fire, a remarkable sacred amulet. We get up in the vault. Let's go. Alrighty, let us end Act One. After we talk to our sister first. Well, we have to talk to the captain. Venzui, sister. Okay, we got everything. Oh yeah, 1600 is. Of course, that cost gold. Let's pull out a little longer. Ha! <laughs> she left a cell sword and returned a heroine. My men informed me of your success. The marauders scattered and the she dragon gone. For now. Fine work, worthy of the city's gold. Here, your reward, along with all our thanks and best hopes. Okay. And now we also secured Major's um, character quest. I can't do that here. Can't sprint in Baldur's Gate? Jeez. Yes, 
Oh ho, is that a swagger I see in your stride? Shall I now bow to thee as you pass, destroyer of the Red Fang Marauders? <laughs> so, what happened? Ah, dragons, avaricious and slothful, for all their might. Yes, I heard Except one had been seen flying northwest from the Cloak Wood. She set fire to the manor there and left, thinking it a death trap. Haha, <laughs> avaricious, slothful, and arrogant. You've done well, adventurer. Tales of your deeds are spreading even beyond the city's walls. I have a friend that wishes to meet you. Please return to the abandoned warehouse. You'll find him there. Yeah. I'm not gonna, if you don't trust Randall already, then why did you report back? Then why continue playing? And she says he's afraid he trusts that he's a perfect. But this is where Mordok gets a bit more dastardly. My lord, your man in Darkhold has fed the Zentarum the required information. They now know how to restore the Onyx Tower. However, Harper spies have found out what they're up to and are sending agents to counter the Zentarum even now. Good. Good. Good? Only my Mordok lord? can find this good. Yes, Zanhast. Good. Or the Zentarum and Harpers both will serve my cause. They will activate the elemental foundations and restore the tower to the material plane. All without realizing that I hold the only remaining Shadow Gate. The Shadow Gate? The Black Arch we found when we captured the adventurers? The very same. And that Black Arch will be the only way into the tower when it returns to Toril. My tower. Time to talk to Jarek. Well met. I am Jarek. I'm pleased you decided to come. Randalla spoke so well of you. I thought it would be in both our interests that we meet. There are a number of artifacts scattered across the western heartlands that I intend to collect. I mean to do so by hiring trustworthy, capable adventurers. Men and women like you. Dangerous work, but fairly compensated. Intrigued? The first artifact is called the Orb of Thunder, an engraved copper sphere studded with enormous topazes. It was used to power a weather machine in the observatory of Liren's hold in the Forest of Worms, now a fell and haunted place. My favorite location, other than Blood Murder. Again, you need to trust Jerry. But anyway, guys, that'll do it for this part of Dark Alliance 2. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, and yeah, I'll just see you in the next video because I have a hard time.